Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating these course cards using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And in the previous video, I showed you how to write the HTML of this. And this is how it looks right now. Now in this video, we will add the CSS and make it look like this. So let's get started. Right here is the source code of our design and if you scroll up, here we can see we have already linked our CSS file. So let's start with the CSS uh, of our design. The first thing we will do is we will style this card division over here. So we have this division with the class of card. So let's go to our style.css file and uh, let's type courses container which is the container division. This division right here and in that we have a division with the class of card. And first of all let's set the width of the card to 240 pixels and we will set a background color of white and uh, we will also add a font family of Roboto and sans serif and we will also set a padding of 16 pixels and let's also add a box shadow and we will set the values to 0, 9 pixels, 17 pixels, negative 6 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.2 so this is how it looks right now we can see that we have this width of 240 pixels for these cards now inside the card division we have an anchor tag so if you go to the HTML file here we can see we have this card division and in that we have the anchor tag and in the anchor tag we have all the content so now let's style the anchor tag so here I'll just type courses container card a and uh, First of all, let's remove the underlines. So let's type text decoration and set it to none. And we'll also set the default text color. So we'll set the color of the text to 14213D. Now the next thing we will do is we will set the display of the anchor tag to flex. Now if you go back to the original design, here we can see that we have these cards over here and all of them have the same height, even though this third card has more content over here. But we can see that all of these uh, elements are positioned correctly. That's because we have set a display of flex. So let's set the display of the anchor tag to flex. Let's go back and let's type display of flex. And now we can see that all the elements are one next to the other. So we have to set the flex direction to column. And we'll also set the justify content to space between. So that all the elements are spaced correctly. Now the next thing we will do is we will remove these uh, spaces around the image. So for the image we have 100% width. So for that let's go back to our uh, CSS and let's target the image. So let's tap courses container card img and uh, we need to set a negative margin for that because here we can see for the card we have set a padding. So this padding will be applied to all the elements in our card. So we have to remove the padding from the image. So for that we have to type margin and we have to set it to a negative margin. So we have to type negative 16 pixels because we have a padding of 16. And now we can see we have the correct width for the image and we'll also set object fit to cover so that the image has the correct proportions. All right now the next thing we will do is style the category. So here we can see we have these categories for all these cards. So let's go back to our HTML file and here we can see we have this division with the class of category. So let's style that. So here I'll just type courses container card category and we need to position this category relative to the card. So for the card let's type position and let's set it to relative and here we'll set the position to absolute and uh, we will set the top position to 8 pixels and we'll set the right position to 8 pixels and now we can see we have this category displayed over here let's add some more styles let's set the background color to 14213d and uh, let's set the color of the text to white and we'll also add some padding so let's tap padding and uh, let's set the padding to 2 pixels top and bottom and 16 pixels left and right and we'll also set the font size to 13 pixels and we'll set the text transform to uppercase and we'll also add a border radius 
So let's set the border radius to 10 pixels. And that looks all right. All right, now the next thing we will do is we will style these titles. So for the titles, we have a h2 with the class of title. So let's type courses container card h2.title and let's set the font size to 20 pixels and we will set a margin of 28 pixels top, 0 for right, 10 pixels bottom and 0 for left and we'll also add a line height and let's set it to 1.4 for headings with multiple lines. Now if you right click over here and click on inspect and uh, if we select this card we can see that we have a width of 272 pixels so here at the bottom left you can see the width 272 pixels but we had set a width of 240 pixels now we have a width of 272 pixels because of this padding right here so it is also adding the padding on the left and the right to the width now if you don't want that to happen then you can go back to your CSS and you can select all the elements inside courses container so let's tap courses container and also courses container asterisk to select all the elements and here to type box sizing and set it to border box and now if you go back and if I right click over here and click on inspect and if I click on card we can see that we have a width of 240 pixels all right now let's style this description so let's go back and in the HTML we can see that for the description we have a division with the class of description so let's type courses container card description and let's set the font size to 15 pixels and uh, we will set the color of the text to 333 and uh, let's set the margin to 0 and we'll also add a line height of 1.7 all right, that's it with the description. Now let's style these two elements right here. We have the price and the duration. So for that, we have a division with the class of info. And in that, we have the price and the duration. So let's target this info division. Here, let's tap courses container, card, info. And the first thing we need to do is we need to place them one next to the other. So here we can see we have the price on the left side and the duration on the right side. So let's tap display of flex and uh, we will type justify content to space between so that they are on the extreme left and right sides and let's set a background color and uh, let's set it to edf 6f9 now even for the info we need to have full width so we need to add negative margins so let's type margin of negative 16 pixels and uh, let's also add some margin top so let's type margin top and let's set it to 20 pixels and we'll also add some padding so let's set a padding of 12 pixels top and bottom and 16 pixels left and right and let's also bring these two elements to the center vertically so let's type align items to the center All right now let's style this prize so for the prize we have a division with the class of prize so let's type courses container card info price and uh, let's set the font size to 28 pixels and uh, let's set the font weight to 900 and let's set the color of the text to df0688 now for the price we also need to have a dollar symbol on the left so for that we will use a before selector so let's tap courses container card info price colon colon before and let's set a content of dollar symbol and uh, let's set the font size of this dollar symbol to 18 pixels and let's set the font weight to normal and now we can see we have this dollar symbol over here on the left now let's style this duration so for the duration we need to have the icon on the left and the number on the right so if you go back to the HTML file here we can see we have this division with the class of duration and then we have this time icon over here and then we have this uh, unit I think we should rename this to value right now let's go back to our styler CSS file and uh, let's target this duration and we want them to be one next to the other so let's tap courses container card info duration 
and let's set the display to flex. Now we can see that the time icon is not being displayed. So let's go back and we need to add a height and a width. So if we go back to the HTML file, we have this division with the class of time icon. So let's target that. Let's tap courses container, card info, time icon, and let's set a width of 18 pixels and a height of 18 pixels. And now we can see we have this icon. Now after the duration, we need to have hours written over here. So here we can see we have 12 hours, 4 hours and so on. So for that we will use after selector. So here I'll just type courses container, card, info, duration, colon, colon, after. And let's set the content to HRS. And let's set a margin left of 4 pixels. And now we can see we have 12 hours displayed over here. Now we also need to have a hover effect for these cards. So let's go back and here for the card, let's tap courses, container, card, colon, hover. And uh, let's set a transform scale. So let's tap transform scale and let's set it to 1.03. And here we will add a smooth transition. So let's tap transition and uh, let's set it to all 400 milliseconds is and now we can see we have this hover effect for all these cards. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to position all of them one next to the other, three in a row. So let's go back and let's target this courses container division. So this is the main division right here. In that we have all the course cards. So here I'll just type courses container and we will set the display of the courses container to grid. And now we need to specify how many columns should be there inside this grid. So let's type grid template columns and we will set it to 1fr, 1fr, 1fr which means three items will be on the same row and we'll also add a gap of 32 pixels and now we can see we have all these elements over here. Now we'll also set a max width. So let's set a max width of 800 pixels and we'll also bring it to the center. So let's tap margin 20 pixels for top and bottom and out of left and right. Now the last thing we need to do over here is that we need to bring these two info sections to the bottom like this one right here. So for that we have to set the height of the anchor tag to 100%. So let's go over here to the anchor tag and uh, let's set a height of 100%. And now we can see everything looks alright. So that's basically it with the desktop version of our uh, course cards. Now let's make it responsive. Now we will set a breakpoint for 850 pixels. So here I'll just create a media query. Let's tap at media, max width, and let's set it to 850 pixels. Now if the width of the browser is less than 850 pixels, then whatever styles we have over here will be added to the page. So the first thing we will do is uh, we will set the grid template columns. So let's tap courses container, and let's set the grid template columns to 1fr, 1fr. This is for the tablet version. So let's decrease the width of this browser. And now we can see there are two items in a row. Now let's also set the width of the elements to 100%. So let's type courses container card and we'll set the width to 100%. Right now let's set a height for these images. So here I'll just type courses container card img and we'll set a height of 200 pixels. So this is basically our tablet version. Now the last thing we will do is style the mobile version. So let's decrease the width even more. Let's create one more media query. So let's tap add media. And let's set a max width of 600 pixels. And here we'll type courses container and we'll set the grid template columns to 1fr, which means just one column. And now we can see we have just one item in a row when we are on a mobile version. And we'll also add a max width for the courses container. So here I'll just type max width and uh, let's set it to 320 pixels. And that looks all right. So that's basically it with the design of our courses cards. All right, so that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Thank <laughs> you.